Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Ruslan Mukambatov, the chief of the general staff of the Ministry of Defense of Kyrgyzstan, has confirmed that the country will soon receive the S-300 air defense system from Russia. This significant development marks a crucial step in Kyrgyzstan's ongoing efforts to modernize its air defense capabilities. Mukambatov also mentioned ongoing negotiations for additional air defense systems, with the delivery of the S-300 expected in the coming months. Kyrgyzstan's existing air defense infrastructure primarily comprises Soviet-era systems. These include the 9K-32 Strela-2 and 9K-35 Strela-10 short-range surface-to-air missile systems, the ZSU-23-4 Shilka self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, and the S-60 and S-75 M3 Dvina anti-aircraft guns. Additionally, the country operates the S-125 Neva Pachora missile system, which has been in service for decades. In recent years, Kyrgyzstan has taken steps to modernize this aging arsenal. In 2023, the country acquired the Pachora 2BM air defense missile system from Belarus and various drones from Turkey, including the Bayraktar TB2, Akinci, Aksungur, and Anka UAVs. These acquisitions signify a strategic shift towards enhancing the nation's defense capabilities with more advanced technology. Kyrgyzstan's move to acquire the S-300 system is part of a broader military technical cooperation agreement established during President Sadr Japarov's visit to Russia in February 2021. This visit included discussions about future defense collaborations and highlighted an enhanced military relationship between Kyrgyzstan and Russia. This cooperation builds on an intergovernmental accord on military technical cooperation signed eight years ago, under which Russia agreed to supply Kyrgyzstan with modern weapons and military equipment worth $1 billion. Furthermore, Kyrgyzstan is negotiating with Russia to acquire systems like the S-300 and potentially the S-400 in the future, aiming to integrate into a regional air defense network with Russia and neighboring countries. This network is part of the Commonwealth of Independent States CIS, and the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSTO, initiatives, which seek to bolster collective defense capabilities in Central Asia, where air defense infrastructure has historically been less developed. The S-300 air defense system, developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1970s and continuously upgraded by Russia, is a formidable addition to Kyrgyzstan's military capabilities. Designed by the Almaz Central Design Bureau, the S-300 was one of the earliest integrated air defense systems capable of tracking multiple targets and engaging them with various missiles. Initially intended to protect critical military and industrial sites, the system has evolved through several variants, including the S-300P for the air defense forces and the S-300V for the ground forces. The S-300 system boasts impressive capabilities, including tracking and engaging multiple targets simultaneously, detecting targets at ranges up to 300 kilometers, and operating at altitudes up to 27 kilometers. It can intercept aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles, with missiles reaching speeds of up to Mach 6. The system's launchers can be reloaded in 5 minutes, allowing for a rapid response to threats. It operates in all weather conditions and is highly mobile, with components mountable on vehicles for quick deployment. These features make the S-300 a versatile air defense system, widely exported and used by various countries. Mukambatov referenced recent conflicts to highlight the importance of acquiring advanced air defense systems, events in Ukraine and Israel have shown that this task must be taken seriously to ensure security. We are studying the experience of the air defense of Russia, Ukraine, and Israel. Experts conduct an analysis, noting all the pros and cons. The integration of the S-300 system into Kyrgyzstan's air defense infrastructure represents a significant upgrade from its Soviet-era systems, enhancing the country's ability to protect its airspace in an increasingly volatile regional security environment. It also underscores Russia's strategic interest in maintaining a military presence in Central Asia amidst ongoing geopolitical developments. This development not only strengthens Kyrgyzstan's defense capabilities but also reinforces the military ties between Kyrgyzstan and Russia, contributing to regional stability and security. That's all for now. See you later.